Let's do Push it. Push it over. We're live. Wait. Hi. Uh, oh, hello. hello. And hello. como estas, mi amigos? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, do we have like an official? No. You like, are, that's the thing of it. You're in charge. You're, you're in charge of this thing now, so we you have, have a, to kick us yeah. in. Do you, oh. want to, do, you, do you want this to your introduce your highlight video? Guys? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good you idea. Say, you guys say I'm producing this, and it feels like I'm just getting told what to do. This is great. <laughs> All right. Yeah, fuck it. Let's show the, the show the highlight okay, reel. Okay, one second. Run that shit. One second. <laughs> All right. We get a highlight reel. Right, it's everything. happening. It's happening. Let's go. Holtz is out playing uh, a magic tournament in Vegas right now. He's got a, yeah. a million dollars on the line. Wish him the best on that one. Holtz is actually, he <laughs> joined the rodeo. Oh, okay. And he oh, is fun. Yeah, he's on the rodeo circuit, and he is he a is, clown or is he going to be riding? No, he's a... he's actually they're doing a crossover. He's a clown riding a bull. I'm really surprised that he was able to give you tips on how to introduce the show, mm -hmm. considering that he is now in one of the deepest caves in North America, <laughs> spelunking. Oh, he's spelunking now. He's spelunking. No, Holtzman <laughs> is a he is a senior judge in the Greater Seattle Slapback Tournament. First off, I want to say. Patrick is, uh, he's currently busy building bacon babies for dead or alive on tour. They actually sent out a request. We have to let you guys know that Holtz is currently constructing the world's largest vat of gumbo in Louisiana right now. First off though, Holtz is not able to make it unfortunately this week. He has been doing like some that. deep, deep research. Uh, he's been spotted at the Hot Topic. First off, Holtz is currently um, participating in a food eating contest for Taco Bell. And we get to have Holtzman here. He took Hi. a break from being his slapback <laughs> tournament. He's no longer on tour with uh, Dead Orbit and working in, um, you know, Hot all Topic. Hot Topic. No he's, longer he's, hot he's topic. now He is now here with us today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Is the video over? It's over now, yes. Right. Oh, the okay, slapback I'm, tournament is my And now he's one. back, yay. <laughs> Patrick's back forever. That video is fantastic. <laughs> you guys keep making me do like this. this, this. So before we actually hit record, everyone's like, oh, wait, we got, I'm like, hey, I have to edit this. It'd be great if we could, you know, do this, like make it easy. And then you guys make it difficult for me. And I don't, I'm not, I don't think I'll be back forever. I don't know. <laughs> hey, everyone in chat and everyone listening, could you shame them into making it like easier or, some, or something for me? Okay, never mind. No. Sorry, man. I think we have a very good question in chat. Hmm? Where's the mullet? Where is okay. the mullet? So, <laughs> turns out, um, haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Why don't you go see D Dado's barber? I'm sure he will be thrilled. Okay, right? how about this? I think we're okay. entering month two of mullet yeah, watch. Yeah, no, we, we, we are in month two. We're going to get to month three <laughs> and like and a half probably. So, here, here's my here's here's what I'll say. Uh, how about this? Uh, my contract at Bungie is up on the 31st of August. And, uh, you know, I would like to start streaming again. So when my contract's up and I'm streaming, I'm, I'll, I'll do the mullet. How about that? I find this wholly unacceptable. If there's no mullet at Bungie, there's no mullet at all. For my last <laughs> day or something, I'll fucking get a mullet. How about that? Does that please yeah, you, person who will not see wait, it okay. while I'm there? How about this? How about this? I will come visit you on that day. Yeah. Okay. How about this? Are you is assuming there... that people who I'll work at pictures. Bungie will not post pictures of you in a mullet? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, is there any chance that you could do a um, a mullet day vlog since you've waited so long? <laughs> since since you've extended this and made it. We need a mullet you know, vlog. Can, see, oh, it's can, mullet can watch like now. Attach, like attach a GoPro to you as you walk into Bungie for the first time with a mullet to get everyone's reaction. You think people like, are hey. like waiting there in like in, in like in like two lines? Yes, to like just that's exactly how I picture the building? it. Yeah, we're, we'll tell <laughs> you. You have Dean sign your tattoo as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of tattoos, hey Pope, uh, what? How are we doing on the tattoo front? Because. 
I keep uh, bugging Ash about it. I mean, okay. I'm, every day I'm on the on Twitter saying, "Ash, let's get this design going," because you know, you know, she made a great piece of art today. Why don't you get that one tattooed on your butt? Yeah. Oh, geez, maybe you don't. <laughs> um, I think that I, 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 my wife would have. There is a heart. There is a heart. In, there is in a heart. There. there is a heart. <laughs> oh, what? What if? What if? Like that could be the tattoo. Like, like you just have this on one and this on the other, and then when we. Make Hell yeah! Like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, we are slacking. Each other, right? We are slacking in our um, our commitments from the Guardian Con stream. At yeah. least the Doki Doki stream's happening tomorrow. Tomorrow, right. unless Ooh. my computer crashes, <laughs> <laughs> it will you guys crash. Give me so much shit for point. like. For, you guys give me so much shit for not cutting my hair or getting a tattoo, and then Tefty just has to do a stream. Dude, not One any stream. stream. Doki Doki you man. You have to prepare for Doki Doki, Appar Patrick. Apparently, this is a life-changing game. It's a life-changing life experience. Yeah, apparently. This is what I've heard. I've heard that uh, you don't walk away the same after playing this game. This, this is true. <laughs> is it like Hellblade, Senna with Sacrifice? Maybe. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I mean... Similar emotions. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, Did you guys hear that Hellblade has a VR version now? Oh my yeah. god! I want to play it. I want to yeah. go. I oh, it's gonna be. That's gonna be intense. That's. I just pulled my intense. VR headset out of the box today because <laughs> I was playing uh, Beat Saber because I wanted to stream that. Oh. I might have to stream Hellblade too. Wait, how I, are you like? How are you liking Beat Saber? Beat Saber is amazing, man. It's so fun. You you work up a sweat. So if you don't know about this game. Uh, you're in VR. It's a rhythm game, like similar to Guitar Hero or something like oh, that. Oh, I've the, seen it. Yeah. The notes come down like a path. Um, but the difference is, is that you have two lightsabers in your hands in VR, and you've got to like swipe through the boxes, like break the boxes with the lightsabers cool. to beat of the music. And um, you know the the boxes have arrows on them, and they appear in different orders and different locations and you know you can make it more difficult as it goes so depending on the, the beat of the game like the the game gets more and more difficult as you go and then there's also these walls that come at you uh sometimes they're above your head sometimes they're side to side and you gotta like duck out of the way while you're also still keeping the rhythm and the songs that are included are actually some of them are really good some of them are pretty good but they actually kind of get you into the music you know so you're it's a, it's similar to being the drummer in rock band where you're you know you're really getting into it and you've got to listen to the music to hit the beats at the right time but you're also in this VR like really cool like 80s retro like neon world it, it's a fun game you work up a sweat it's playing it Tron. and it's it's a lot of fun Tron you can mod it yeah I was gonna say is it like Tron yeah <laughs> yeah Tron. a little bit Tron. music and lightsabers <laughs> a little bit <laughs> that a little bit great. Blood Dragon Far Cry Three Blood Dragon. <laughs> Oh. oh yeah, very similar to that uh, aesthetic. Nice. Yeah. That's um, excellent. You work up a little sweat doing it. It's a lot of fun. It's only I think twenty dollars on Steam right now. I think you can play it on the PlayStation VR as well. But you got to have the VR. I have on the PlayStation, PlayStation Store. VR. I have that. Yeah, nice. Yeah, you got it. Like the biggest entry on that any of that stuff is just having the gear to do it. Yeah, right. Set up, right? Uh, yeah. You can mod it too to get uh, additional songs in and additional there's features. Custom, as well. There's custom songs that you can do. Like there's yeah, there's some pretty fun ones. That, that I've seen. That's cool. Yeah, it's a great game. I've been I've been really enjoying. It. I just I booted it up today for the first time to because we were talking kind of talking about it in the stream. I like to stream VR every once in a while and just look stupid on camera because that's a thing that comes naturally to me. <laughs> and uh, so we were talking about doing it. I finally booted it up for the first time. It's been a while since I dusted off the VR headset and all that. And uh, I was just having a blast. I ended up playing for like four hours. Oh wow! I thought you, I thought you were into the VR stuff. Is it or just you haven't played it in a little while or nothing when a new game you? comes out that I'm really interested in, mm -hmm. I will play that game. And then, yeah. When you said you uh, had to unbox it. Come out. Well, <laughs> I have these, this like shelf over here with this little gray box. Long-term storage. This box right here. It's what kind of VR do you have, uh, Briar? I have the HTC Vive headset. Oh, you have the Vive. Oh. Yeah, I have the Vive, and I have the um, PlayStation VR. That's fancy. Oh, that's, that's now, this is very tempting for me to get, like, one for PC so I can make my own songs, because that sounds amazing. That's cool. Right, yeah. Oh, I, I believe so that fun. you can actually create your own songs, too. That That's not mm -hmm. something I, was, I would do, but, like, if, you're, if you have a favorite like a song. For you. Maybe? This is possible. If you have a favorite song by, like, a, your favorite artist, you can actually, like, 
add in the boxes and like the locations and stuff to actually like make a level for yourself. Man, that sounds like a uh, donation goal for next year on Guardian Con. (laughs) (laughs) Shake my fantasy on Beat Oh my God. This needs to happen. If I could be in that ring, if I could be in that ring, oh my God. (laughs) Dodging those lights myself. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. Yeah, the last time I really put any time into VR was when Fallout 4 VR came out, which is pretty pretty good amount of time ago at this point. Yeah, that was uh, November, right? I think so. Yeah. Weren't they talking about releasing a quality like Skyrim VR? Has that happened? It's already out. Is it out? It's out on PlayStation and on PC. Have you played that? Uh, no, not yet. I'm wondering uh, if it's any if if it's just how they were were they able to make you feel like you're in that space? Because I saw this really interesting article about the size of gaming worlds. Yeah. And um, I don't know if you guys saw that, but it was really like over time it built, um, you had a pretty interesting video. Um, I can link it to you guys, but it shows. Was it Noclip? um, Yeah, I'll I'll look it up. But um, basically uh, it goes over time and it shows the largest of the worlds and as they grow and then the camera kind of pans out and it shows like a map, a board. And and then it gets to all these through all these games that you recognize and they're like bigger and bigger and bigger. And then it starts backing up and then it slaps the Minecraft world, which is like Infinite. 60 times any <laughs> the size of any of them. But right. it's really funny, like how the how it, you see the size of the worlds and it goes through all the different fallouts and the different games. In, in recent years, developers have been talking about trying to kind of restrict how big the world is to try and make the world feel denser, more populated, yeah. more, mm-hmm. more rich, like more rich. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's a good word. It's like my problem with no man's sky where I would, I would go in and like, I, I, I liked the idea of an infinite amount of planets to explore. And right. every time I would go, there's like, no one has ever discovered this, but by the way, there's an outpost on there with an alien and looks ex- that's selling the exact same gun that you had on another planet. <laughs> Yeah. So, well, except for that guy. Yeah, except for that guy. <laughs> that, 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 that's like one situation. That one situation. NPCs excluded. <laughs> <laughs> but you're the first human to discover it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speak- Have you been putting a lot of time in No Man's Sky? Uh, a fair amount. Fair amount. Yeah. I mean, when I first came out. How's, how's the update? So the update is way better, honestly. It's, okay. it's still No Man's Sky. A lot of people have been coming in and be like, so is the game good? And... It's still a space exploration game. So it's like right. it's like survival and it's going to planets and getting resources and all that. It's like it's like Minecraft in space with a little bit of objective because they give you stuff to do where it's like you can go down certain pathways for their their quote unquote campaign, which is like it's like campaign light. It, they, it's just giving you direction to get certain things to get blueprints for the uh, for materials to be able to jump to different stars and all that. But it's um, it's it, the core essence is you go and explore planets and then you go and collect stuff. And the base release of the game, I still had fun with, but it had no multiplayer, which they basically lied about. And that burnt a lot of gamers. Uh, but fast forward two years, they've added multiplayer. They've added way more systems and complexity to the um, to the inventory and loot systems and all that. And it's made it a, a much more richer experience than it was when it first released. And the base building is like, like it, that's that's why Minecraft is a uh, part of the association in there. Like it, you can make some crazy bases and you can bring them it with always, you. Oh, you so you can bring your base with you. So two things, <clears throat> you, can, you can bring your base with you and put it on a different planet, or you can set up a portal on that planet and be able to revisit it anytime. So anytime you go, to like a, a space station or n- you make another portal on another planet, you can actually revisit that base and name it something unique. And then other people can find it too. So if you've That's got cool. like a resource rich planet, you could plant a base there yes. and always be able to get those resources easily. Yeah. Exactly. Can, you plant, can you plant multiple portals and multiple bases? Probably. I haven't tried it yet. Cause that, that would make sense of like, if you found like prior saying a planet that has specific rich and specific resources, you plant a, 
you know, a base and build a base on each one of those planets. And so when you're, because you're crafting now more than before, right? Tons. Yeah. They they added a refinery, which is essentially the oven in Minecraft. So you, you put mm-hmm. carbon into it to then convert things like cobalt. And, you know, they, they have a whole bunch of things that are either fake or real. I, do, I have no idea because I'm not a scientist. You know what I mean? <laughs> been, <laughs> some made up names. You know, science, some scientist nerd <laughs> stuff. Yeah. I've been watching about, a lot about this. I had a, I had a really intense love affair with, no man's sky when it first came out yeah. even, you know even with the flaws even mm-hmm. with the Same. no multiplayer what what i what i played i actually really enjoyed and but it was two weeks long and then i was like okay i feel like i haven't seen everything obviously because it's a nearly infinite universe but like, i've done everything i've wanted to do right well, but from so let, let me just add on to that real quick one of the main changes that they made was that the problem with the first release is that you'd always run into a barren planet and it would be pretty rare to run into a lush planet or just a lot of the planets felt the same. They've mm-hmm. done a lot of adjustments, both graphically and also to the, the complexity of the planets. That's what I was getting at. Is yeah. Just watching some of the streamers that are playing it right now is I've been shocked by not only how graphically better it looks. Now, a lot of play- people are playing it on PC, so... I played it on PlayStation the first time around, so it, it looks very good though. And the third person camera adds like a it adds a connection to your character that I don't think was there before. That's that's the other big thing. Like going third person, you know, when you when you play a first person game, you have certain expectations to how it feels, especially with being Destiny players. And that can be tough. That can be tough because it um, it carries over in other games, so it doesn't feel as good. But being in third person, just like you said, you feel rooted in the game. You can see your character respond, and you're like you're the character now that you see on screen. And it right. feels better. It feels a lot better. Yeah. And uh, it's on Xbox now for the first time oh, yeah. as well with the next update. Yep. And it's it, it, it looks I, I, really good on the Xbox One X. Nice. Briar, heard, like yeah. one of the one of the things that I've noticed, and and kind of what you're talking about as far as like the, the view, the the look of it, but people are really it's more than just that. I think people are really surprised at how good it looks. Like, how do you think they achieved that? Like getting the so much more graphically out of it. It just seems like um, they've been tuning the algorithms. You think that's it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because they've they've just they've got that technology. They just they looked at the data and were like, okay, well, we can tune these things and make it better and put a little more stuff in there for the algorithms to make more unique choices. Like the cave systems are better. It feels like there's biomes now on planets. Where before it was okay. like one planet was the entire thing. Now you could walk oh, okay. a distance and you can get into like a different region of a planet and it will feel uh, okay. It'll, it'll have like a different landscape. What feel about to it. Uh, what about like, you know, we talked about the reference. So I'm coming into it completely having not played it. So I'm just asking questions that I'm, you know, that I'm curious. You don't about. have to say that. You can just ask the question. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, we give you permission to ask questions. Go for it. <laughs> You are well because I'm asking like really random, like basic. Hit questions. us with the randomness. Um, well, the uh, the Minecraft, the references to yes. Minecraft. Is there any um, digging or yes, anything yes. that's involved in yes. that? Like you can. So that was another big change. Destroy. Yeah, another big change that they did was they added a. I'm pretty sure that what the terrain man- manipulator was not in the original game. I'm pretty sure it, no, it was not. You so. could you could destroy terrain and dig, right, but you but not, couldn't build terrain. Right. So they split that into so you have a mining beam, and they they completely changed the resources as well from the base game. So like the base game, it was essentially like pointing a laser to a whole bunch of stuff that looked very similar. And it's while it still has that essence, it's different now in the sense that you have resource beams for uh, for like plant life and rocks and all that. And then sure. for big deposits and terrain manipulation, you use a terrain manipulator. And these are things that you can enhance and make better through updates okay. or through upgrades and technology. So yes, you can you can dig holes and you can also add terrain to it. And when you dig like in Minecraft, you find diamonds and stuff like that. Is that the same sort of uh, mm-hmm. idea you behind can, it? You find cave systems and things like that? You can hit cave systems. Yep. You don't go to a certain bottom area to find rare resources that doesn't exist usually rare resources are on planets that are technically rare Mm. yeah how's the wildlife the wildlife in the first one it was pretty impressive at first but it got pretty old once you started seeing the same pieces of animals kind of stuck together i feel like is it improved at all a little bit i feel like i always run into animals with shrunken heads and massive shoulders (laughs) so titans 
Yeah. <laughs> Running the Titans, they're like they're, they're dog World Titans. They're stand up. Uh, you know. World of Warcraft has implemented itself very well into into No Man's Sky. Apparently, then. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Been, you guys but, don't play WoW, so you don't get the meme of giant shoulder pads. No. Okay, it's probably <laughs> been at least forty. 30 podcasts where we haven't had a WoW reference. Yeah. In fact, there it's been so you, long. Did you enjoy your <laughs> reprieve? <laughs> I did. I did. Uh, I didn't even realize it was happening in the middle of it. And I was like, <laughs> what about, WoW like reference so long, isn't it? Wow. What about weapons, Defty? Anything special with the weapon system? Uh, uh, does it feel different? There's a few different things that you can get a blueprints for, like uh, shotgun mm-hmm. lasers and stuff like that. But nothing that would make a destiny player go oh wow yeah mm-hmm. oh you can shoot your friends too which is cool because again the the, oh, the yeah. major That's about multiplayer yeah the major change is that it finally has <laughs> multiplayer and right. they've done they've done a pretty good job with it because you can jump in you can bring your character that you've been on your your personal save and jump into your friend's world and it will now know the star system that they they were at and visited and you can you'll see their little the name and you're in space yeah so you go to them you can land and you can say hey to each other you can emote and all that and you can help build their base you can trade resources back and forth you can also shoot each other um and then once you once you oh, leave the trolling oh the trolling you can troll it doesn't i don't know if it is like I don't so know you, you can join up your friend and like destroy their base i think so but not as easy like you can't just like launch a rocket and blow up the whole base it's not like that yeah um but like once you're done playing with them and you go back to your save you sit you keep all your resources and you're back in your world Mm -hmm. but then you go that's nice yeah but then you can jump to their star system because you have that portal now Mm -hmm. oh because you've been there yeah and go find their base (laughs) okay now Conceivably, cool. could you put a portal at their base? Yeah, yeah. And jump there? Yeah, yeah, that's, for sure, for sure. If they have a portal there already, then you'll be able to jump there. See, that's and awesome. Because they're on your friends list? I'm going to start playing it. this thing. This sounds okay. like a lot of fun, man. Briar got Whoa, interested Briar, immediately. Briar, Briar got huge. Briar, you got really <laughs> you're at a new angle. <laughs> Briar's working on that new driver with, uh, with the camera. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's been working out uh, great. Thanks, Logitech. Uh, <laughs> I'll oh, say, I shouldn't get it. I'll say it's a quite the resurrection from where the game's been. I, I personally just it like seems just totally like, different. Like not yeah. totally different, but significantly yeah different. different responses from people who are playing it like it's a very interesting and fun game now uh if you like space exploration it is at the core it's still that game right? yeah exactly so, like yeah it's that game how's the story there's like a new story right yeah there's a storyline i haven't really been paying attention that much to it there's there's a whole bunch of lore that you can get into but that's not something that like i'm I'm not a, a lore person first i'm usually after i played it for a while i'd be like oh that's what that meant cool yeah. So. Wow. We got to get together and play that. Earthfall when we're, was it called Earthfall? When we're, yes. Yeah. Was Earth, let's talk about Earthfall. You know, so Patrick was not playing Earthfall with us, which I'm yeah. pretty, uh, it's probably a good thing because he would have murdered us all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Pope tried Briar. to hold that mantle. Briar stepped in. <laughs> but but instead, the aliens, the aliens got, got, got by back. aliens over and over <laughs> and over. over, and over. And, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you see a whiplash running around, you're like, it's just going to go to Pope. So, yeah, oh, there goes Pope. He's being, he's being taken you know, away. I could smell Pope's rage from California and Connecticut. Like, he was so, so angry. If you guys don't know what Earthfall is, it's a game that it's a lot like, what? Left How would dead. you describe Left it? Left or Dead. Yeah. And um, it's, a, it was, it's an inexpensive game. And I feel like you get a lot of content for that. But it was it's a co- co-op player. There's missions. Um, linear in its missions, but there's some exploration and um, some like finding of research, like weapons and stuff like that. You can put, you can build a little bit by putting up traps and barriers. Um, you shoot your friends. There's friendly fire. Hell yeah, there is. Hell yeah, yeah there is. And um, you know, it's challenging. I had fun. I, I had fun like going through and defending an area. You'd go to a different area and have to defend it. The, the, it the game was very challenging. We were playing on normal. Very, there yeah. was two layers above, and we were struggling multiple times. Maybe because Not we kept. Not only that, 
with the difficulty. So there's like easy, normal, and then there's like two more above that. But you can also change the AI to be oh, more difficult. So right. we were on like oh. normal level, normal AI. <laughs> so you oh, can no. be super intense with really hard AI. Wow. So, that's uh, yeah. That's... I feel like there's a lot that you can do to be able to get that. Yeah, yeah we were struggling, was, but we were, we were killing struggling. each other. We were. We we were being decent. It's hard <laughs> not. <to>. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, that was a sponsored stream, but we ended up like having so much fun that we p- were planning on getting back to it. Yeah, we're <laughs> like, gonna play it again. It was yeah. really fun. I think I'm gonna I add it. that to our rotation of like fun games. To, I think we had fun with Golf It. Yes, we did. We had fun with that with Sea of Thieves. I, I want to jump back into Sea of Thieves um, eventually and play a little bit of that. I had a I had a great time with you guys on that. I only got to play it, it once fun. with you, but um, but. Seriously, No Man's Sky um, is a great game too. For multiple yeah, I was going to ask you how many people can play. You can together? have four people on your team, but I believe sixteen people can end up in your world if they happen to match make into there. I believe. Yeah. Sweet. Interesting. Yeah. I never I'm had anybody. Go back. I never had anybody randomly join. Yeah. You should go back to golf. It. Golf. It's pretty. Golf crazy. It was a great game. That's golf because it. you are a cheater. I think Holt has been Hard refining golf. his skills <sighs> for the past three months. Have you been playing golf it on the side? Honestly, a little bit I have. He's like, been uh, working on holding one and everything. I played with like Datto, Char, like all the math class people. I, like I played with a bunch of people and I just – Pope, remember how you were just like, I'm just going to hit Pat a bunch? That's what I res- made myself do, but I got really good at like getting – really close to the hole and then just like just, i'm just gonna stay there wait, this is right? biting your yeah, time I'm just, I'm just gonna wait <laughs> just wait and then like someone would finally get there like all right and then they'd like crest over a hill a little ball would crest <laughs> over a hill and they'd see me waiting there and like oh fuck and then just <laughs> boom <laughs> right back to the start. it's great it's a great role every good you know you know show or a story needs a villain you know and yeah mm-hmm. you gotta Oh. Absolutely. You're the the Seattle goalie, you know? <laughs> the Seattle goalie? <laughs> yeah, just preventing dreams. Yeah, with like an evil ma- you know, chainsaw mm-hmm. and a mask. Yeah. That's another game we haven't played, right? Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. Isn't that in Legal Limbo? In it's in Legal oh, Limbo? I think so. I think I the actual that. development yeah. has been halted really? because it's in some sort of Legal Limbo. Mm. I This, yeah. no this might be... Though old news and like has moved on at this point i didn't do any research yeah, on right. this <laughs> I, and i just saw it pop Hold up and up. people got... were like it's such a shame that this game has legal problems i wish they could put more into it legal um, limbo legal. friday, friday the 13th that sounds like a dlc for some yeah, of you game. don't yeah. patrick i know it's been a while since you've been on the patch podcast yeah. but you don't actually the have patrick to podcast talk yeah while you type you don't have to it's, mouth it out <laughs> It's for the people <laughs> that. No, it's all right. Briar's right on this one. <laughs> the, the, the fingers actually do work independently of your mouth. <laughs> yeah, I'm on a podcast. A Audio bit. listeners need to know what I'm typing. Do they? I think they're good, yeah. honestly. Yeah. <laughs> We streamed that a little bit, didn't we? I, I we remember. Did. It was yeah. so fun. Wasn't it, it was Brian? Wasn't it you that got stuck place. in the tree? No, it was Pope there. It was Pope me. Got got stuck. Stuck. Pope yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I think I was Jason and him. I couldn't kill him because he was in a tree. <laughs> why Why does this stuff happen to me? I don't, I, don't know. I don't know, man. It was amazing. Playing Earthfall, like you just consistently got snagged by aliens. Like it was, it amazing. was, it was extremely with, high yeah. percentage. You were the one. And then again, it would be like 90% of the time. I'd hear, oh my God. Oh my God! <laughs> again, at first, again. at first I thought it was just because I was not like sticking with you guys and doing my own thing, and later <laughs> I was on you like glue, and I'd be standing right next to you, and it would still come and snag me. I could literally be walking right next to an alien, and the alien just completely go ignoring me, go just right going for straight for Pope. Yeah. There was a there was a time when there was all all of us in one room, one corridor, yes. and it was a T intersection, and I went one way. And all three of you went the other way, and it turned and went after me. I think the aliens, our Destiny players, wanted a thousand-yard stare, never got one, and are still mad yes, about it. salty stare. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Just super salty Destiny 1 players turned into enemies on it. pretty great. This is what out. happens to you if, you if you stick around on the Destiny Reddit too often. You become an alien. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Salty Who goes alien. after Pope Bear? Was that? Be careful on that Reddit. Yeah. It's very dangerous. 
Uh, so I got so, a question. Hey, yeah, I was gonna ask you. Yeah, what what have I been? Playing? Yeah, what what have you been playing? What have you been playing? Seeing as you can't play Destiny, it's against the law. Yeah, <laughs> or that you can talk about. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, so Magic the Gathering, which I'm sure no you guys way. are thrilled Get to hear about. You've been playing Magic I don't cards, really? I mean, I've been playing Magic. For also, real? World of Warcraft. No, like no World of Warcraft way. has a. Uh, <laughs> As an expansion you know, it's amazing out. in these this short time that you've been gone how much you've changed. <laughs> I don't even recognize you anymore. It's like a, tra- a metamorphosis. Mm. <laughs> you've changed like a caterpillar hair. that shedded the You're skin. Different games. Became another caterpillar waiting <laughs> to shed more skin. Instead of a butterfly. <laughs> you keep turning into different caterpillars. <laughs> I, I, so what's, gotta what's myself, new? I agreed to this. Yes, you did. So <laughs> what's new so in what, the world of magic? Yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. Uh, you guys don't care about magic, so I'll, no, I'll say not. what's new in World of Warcraft. New expansion coming out, pre-patch is out, so they did a stat squish. So, like, previously, stat you were dealing squish. millions of damage, <gasps> and eventually, once there's so many commas in the in the bar of you auto-attacking something, you're like, you know, maybe we should m- make that go down, like, to the three, <laughs> three, just three digits. Okay. Yeah, That's so what can, Mexico does yeah. with its inflation. They, they, yeah, they, no, they, they're, yeah. they're like you're you're paying for like a loaf of bread with like three million pesos, and then mm-hmm. the next day they're just like, eh, it's three, three, it's just three, three it's pesos. Three, yeah. <laughs> and they just take off <laughs> zeros, and then they decide to like yeah. cancel out zeros all of a sudden, issue new money, and they're like, I'm eh, sure. So yeah, yeah, they 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 squished all the stats, so health bars, healing, like everything squished. So yeah, I uh, I went and did a raid with like Typhoon Trav, Rabby, Datto. Uh, Is it? That just give them room to grow, so now that you can get high, yeah. you can get higher numbers, or is it just yeah, you so can get higher can, numbers, so then easier this, to this see is the third time they've done a stat squish. By the way, is it well? Is it because you you, you want to be able to do more damage, or is it because you just it's hard to read three million? It's hard, it's hard to it's hard to read numbers because if they had never done a stat squish, we'd be deal, like auto attacks would be in the quintillions of damage numbers. So it's like yeah. eh, that's absurd, um, or is it? It sounds pretty I awesome, mean, honestly. I, Quintillion damage. I don't care. Oh, oh my god. Okay, if anyone out there is like a one of the people that does the the mods for WoW, where you can add-ons. There we go. Add-ons. If you can make my make the damage numbers. <laughs> you okay, there, Briar? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm <laughs> scared with you, Briar. All of a sudden, you're like, are you guys okay? Damage numbers. <laughs> damage numbers. <laughs> make the damage numbers. Appear as if they had never been stat squished ever. Okay, that would be great. I love it. I want to. I want to see what those numbers would actually be. Because back in Vanilla WoW, like 16 years ago, if I dealt a thousand damage, I was like, "Holy shit!" And and then in Burning Crusade, the next expansion, I was just constantly dealing thousands. And the next expansion, I was dealing like. 50,000, and I'm like, that's a lot. lot, Then the next one, I'm like, I'm now dealing millions. 50 million? This is okay. Stat squish. It's kind of like when you get 60 plus thousand with your black hammer on a heavyweight Mm. nightfall on a Mm. red health enemy. You're like, whoa, Mm. that's a lot of damage. We haven't even achieved full power. (laughs) I know. Boxed (laughs) breathing. (laughs) Holt is like, no comment. I'm, I'm just like, it's like, guys, guys, World of Warcraft. It's really sweet. No, yeah, you, actually, you, I, I'm like, no, seriously, I'm legit you, interested in what's going on with the. Uh, so, okay. Yeah, so, 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 with the expansion, I've never played mm-hmm. World of Warcraft aside from like a two yeah. hour stream in the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, hit, hit me with the deets. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it, there used to be different types of servers. So, you could like kind of choose your experience where it's like, I don't want to do PvP. I'm going to go to a PvE server, which is basically it's that you can do PvP there, but you're not going to go out into the open world and just suddenly get ganked, die okay. because an enemy player was just waiting for you. For you um, on PvP servers, it's a lawless frontier, and you can go in there and just uh, it's great. I love it. Uh, you just go. You can go into like the the first area that becomes. Uh, fucking first area that becomes like a contested zone and like there's like a level 10 that just walks in there and he's like yeah I'm gonna go do quests and then you just rock it in there with like your level 110 <laughs> yeah, you know axe uh, off of killing a, Wait, an eldritch god this, and just like the, yeah kill this him. sounds like quick play <laughs> 
six v six quick play. It's, it's like what six v. Like oh is. my god. Um. Yeah. So it's Which it's great. But then but then that person was probably an alt, and then they'll log on there hundred and ten, uh, and they'll get all their oh. friends, and then and then yeah, you just go start shit. It's great. Wow. That that is very fun. That I did the same thing like in Aeon. It's super fun. Just the, yeah. they, that little bit of beginner area, the first little area where they're doing the quest, and you just come on in there and you kill them. But then the, they tell the whole server, and they're uh -huh. like, "Hey guys, there's bad people." Here. They go back to the and main city. They're like, "There's there's people ganking people. me. Help!" <laughs> <laughs> great. And and then you it get your great. friends to come in, and then just a war starts. But yeah, that that used to be how the servers were, where you could like choose your own experience. There was also RP. Role play? where it's like you oh. you had to role play well that you was the rule where if you want to be on the server elven you have to mm, yes, become an mad, elven lord you, you log in <laughs> greetings greetings guild mates and like as you talk in for whatever. the horde <laughs> Lok, Lok tar friend Lok tar um yeah so, so if you were like uh I, I don't know about the RP thing, but PvP and PvE servers don't exist anymore. It's just one type of server. Oh, really? And yeah. you just you just flag yourself if you want to do PvP now. And so basically, Does that mean I, if you're not flagged that way, somebody can't PvP you. Correct. Oh. Someone cannot attack you. But Can if you, you flag do yourself flag yourself, if, if you do flag yourself for PvP, you get more XP. You get more loot. So oh, it's like, nice. hey, yeah, that's yeah. tasty. What, the, what is the population of World of Warcraft these days. I remember, like in its heyday, it was like 10 million players concurrently um, and stuff like that. Is it is it still like really popular? Is does is this a sign of it kind of starting to like lower in popularity? So they're bringing the two player bases together on the same see. servers. Or? Uh, I I honestly have no idea, but the <laughs> it used to be like every server was like its own separate entity, and you mm -hmm. couldn't. You couldn't like play with other people on other servers. You'd have to transfer your character or make a new character. And they like merged the bunch of, a bunch of servers together, so mm -hmm. it kind of grew. And then now it's like you can basically play with anyone on any server. Hmm. So the, all the tight knit communities kind of don't exist anymore, which which kind of sucks. But yeah, the, it, it feels like it's merging all into just World of Warcraft. It's not. I play World of Warcraft on Horde side on this server. Uh, it's just that that was also that, that was one of the things that kind of confused me about the game because I was like, well, what if I want to play with a friend who's been playing it for several years? You get, yeah, you would have to make a character on their server. Yeah, and I'd I'd lose all my stuff on the other server. No. Oh, oh, I mean, you you start over, or you could just yeah. transfer your character, which would cost money. Hmm. Yeah, you see roadblocks right there. So they've yeah. they've removed <laughs> these roadblocks, right? Um, but okay, yeah, uh, in a, in a way, yeah. Like if you if you want to be on their server in their guild, you can still do that. But I mean, you got your friends list. Who cares, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so like I can Datto's on a different server, and I can just be like Datto. I, I invite Datto, and he comes in and joins and do does whatever he wants to do with me. We can go run dungeons, we can go do world quests. That's fine. Okay, so you can just oh, just be a friend invites. You yeah, can be on Tefty. Now. If you, yeah, Tefty. Since we're on each other's battle net, at least I hope we are. I, yes, I, I honestly I haven't, don't know. Uh, I haven't removed. I haven't. It. Uh, <laughs> I, I have a did you unfriend me? <laughs> uh, um, what? <laughs> I don't know. No, no. I actually saw you on my friends list, and I invited you one time when I was streaming. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> And then you Test. promptly went offline. Yeah, offline. Okay, you've been offline for 13 hours. Great. Okay, I have you on. The <laughs> um, so yeah, if you were to make a character, okay, uh, you could invite me, and I could come join you, and uh, go do the new player experience. Okay. Yeah. So is this setting up for a DCP World of Warcraft? I'm trying to set it up. What but... What would you recommend for a new player though? Makes it delicious. Like class wise? No, no, just okay. So I know there's a bunch of classes that you can choose, uh, yeah. but th there's like character boosts, right? You can buy like a boost to go to a hundred or something. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't recommend doing that right off the bat because if you do that, it's it's like giving someone uh, someone someone is interested in cooking. They've never cooked anything before. You give them fucking all all the knives, all the you know little kitchen gadgets. You get a full set of everything. You know, full spice rack, all the oils. Like you can just so much shit, and it's like, this is a lot to take That sounds in. great, actually. Um, and that actually does <laughs> sound, sound really good. I've made, 
I would love that if someone wanted to do that for me. Um, <laughs> it's like it's like I, I want to learn how to drive, and then you give them a Formula One car. I don't see. Yeah, the problem they can. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. I'm thinking Formula One Tuesdays, man. Let's do it. It's Formula One. Tuesdays. You're not selling this very well, Pat. I'm really not. Am I? So fucking awesome. So, <laughs> the first two hours when I played, like maybe two years ago, yeah, were not very exciting from a new player point of oh, view. Oh no, it's not. It's not. How do it's I bypass like, the really not exciting new player? The killing rats to level up. Yeah, uh, you don't kill rats anymore. You kill boars. That boars, sounds yeah. like the same problem. Okay, then Tefty, Tefty, you're an intelligent, smart person. When you buy the new expansion, allegedly. you get allegedly. A, <laughs> you uh, you can get you get a character boost, so you can have a character that said "fucking uh, level" to go right into the, ex the next expansion, okay. and it'll have a bunch of gear on it. So you can just say "fuck it," I'm going to use that character boost on this character that I made. Boop, and they're at max level. Like they got all the professions, all the abilities. They got everything unlocked. You do whatever you want to at that point. Paul Bear, are uh, you eating a flake right now? Yes, uh, yes he is. Yes, I am. No kidding. I've has nearly it, finished all of mine. Has it sucked all the humidity out of the air in your house? <laughs> <laughs> Flakes are. I'm not so gonna lie. Good. They are. It is really dry, and my mouth is super, <laughs> super needing a glass of milk right now. <laughs> but it, it's really good. Uh, so. These flakes are good. I can see what the UK people are talking about. I can see why the ice cream, though, is necessary when you're eating. <laughs> there you go. I just really needed some chocolate, and that's all I have in the house. So, so it's delicious. When does okay? So let's say I, I level up. I, I spend the booster, and I get yeah. a max. What is max level? Hundred. Hundred ten. Okay, so would it put me up to a hundred to then level up to one hundred and ten? Yeah. No, it would put you at one ten now. Oh, really? You, oh. you don't even have to level. Yeah. Is leveling just like you whatever? Just have to get loot. Uh, loot is the real I leveling, mean, like Destiny. It's like okay, you hit the end game, like you hit max level, and now now it's like okay, go get better items. But right now it's really weird because the, they did this thing where you get artifact weapons, and they're like these super powerful weapons that you would level up as well. So there were like talent points within the weapon. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, and like you had to level it up over the course of like fucking five months. It's probably like three. That's well, what but... people have been talking about. Destiny, like as far as like the mod system, is having like being able to add and do more work mm. into them and have the guns be more meaningful. Okay, just okay the weapons are like... are are nothing like that. It's like you get to customize it, but eventually everyone's artifact weapon is the exact same because okay. it's just oh, a bunch I of, see. it's just a bunch of time with a five month grind for one yeah. weapon. Yeah. Yeah. That's what turned me <laughs> off the, wow. the current expansion. I was like, Oh, it's going to take me five months to fucking catch up to everyone else. Nah, I'm out. And then the, this patch, they came in and they were like, Oh, you get in, you just, you get all the artifact power. And I was like, Oh, great. And then I went and did this quest where I had to like, and apparently at the end of the raid, a god like sticks his sword in mm. the in the world and it's like corrupting the world. And the sword oh, is like spoilers. Yeah, sorry spoilers, guys. Spoilers, man. Um, Jesus. Whoa. Yeah. Toxic. Yeah, and, and you have to you have to cleanse the weapon that he that the that the god like stuck in the world, and you're like, oh, the only way to do that is to sacrifice your artifact weapon. And oh. uh, you spent so, five months grinding. Yeah, you spent fucking months. like five months grinding up, and I'm like, <laughs> I had all these talents, and it was great, and then now I don't. Okay. Does Go does WoW re does WoW respect your time? <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Well, it's 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 different with WoW. It's like <laughs> it, where at the end of every expansion, I felt like you had a gun like, held to you, and you had to say yes. <laughs> Yes, no, it never right. respects. It, no, it's, 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 time, a, it's a, it's a, it's a very, it's a very different thing uh, than I think what you guys might be used to because it's expected that you're going to throw away your old gear when a new expansion comes out. Okay. You will yeah. replace your, you know, amazing badass gear with greens that have just two stats on them, just like Destiny, like, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> sure. No, I mean that's historically sure, like, what happens when you, the yeah, new new yeah, thing comes out. You'll, Destiny, you'll do it. Yeah. yeah. Um, historically, historically, yeah. Um, 
yeah, so it's it's like expected that uh, to do that there, but they also have like transmogrification. So if there's like a set that like I really like the tier two set from fucking sixteen years ago for rogues, so I have that set and I make my armor look like the Bloodfang armor set, and then I you go for nostalgia. Out. Yeah, nostalgia. It's great. Mm, weird. Mm-hmm. Strange. Super weird. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. I, I mean, it sounds really interesting to me. The idea of WoW is very fascinating, and I I like I like the idea of a grind with a big end game. I love MMOs. Yeah, they are, it's exciting. They are great. The only thing that yeah, like to, that turns me off is it it can it when I watch it, it feels like it's a cooldown simulator. Um. Yeah. No. Very. Very much so. There's it used for some classes. It used to be like. You had like one or two abilities that you could always use, and then there were just like a bunch of like one minute to five minute cooldowns mm-hmm. that you had to manage, and it was like ah, this kind of kind of sucks. But it's it's changed a lot depending on what class you play. Like you're always going to have abilities to use, mm-hmm. and there are moves that are like on like a you know fifteen to twenty second cooldown that have large impacts on the combat. But you learn to weave that in, and it's 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 really satisfying to to learn all those rotations yeah. to me. So. Do you have to raid in that game also? You don't have to. No? Like can you still get end game like, stuff and all that and Um you can there's crafting so you can get pretty good gear but I mean the best stuff is like from raiding from uh, if you want to do PVP there's like in game PVP stuff in arenas and raided battlegrounds. Mm. Uh, so depending on what you'd like to do there's usually an end game activity that will offer you in-game gear, but otherwise you can you can do dungeons and get like pretty solid gear sets. At least that's that's what it used to be like. I didn't play the basically the past two expansions, so they could have changed all this all this stuff. I'm hmm. very much looking forward to Battle for Azeroth because it's 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 me kind of going in almost like vanilla, where I have no idea what's going on. I have a base understanding of the combat system. And I know how to quest and stuff, but aside from that, like, okay, mm. let's let's just see what happens. How and that's also, when just, we all start playing. Yeah, DCP Wow, wow. Wednesdays. Oh. <laughs> would how long would it take to level up a character from zero to one hundred and ten? Uh, without knowing like <laughs> speed strats. Without knowing speed strats, without knowing what you're doing, it would probably take you guys a solid month. Yikes. Woof. <laughs> I, I think. How much is I, it? I don't you know. buy 110 levels? You get it with the uh, expansion. Well, conveniently, if you buy the new expansion, you're good. Yeah, you get it, you get it with the expansion. Get it with the yeah, expansion. So you're good. One time, though, one character. If you want a different character, like if you want some elven mm, th- fire throwing thingy. Right. What? <laughs> yeah, man. Totes. Yeah. Okay. Aren't next they subject. changing the model of that game so you don't have to buy like the base game anymore? You just have to play. Yeah. Yeah. I, I heard something about that where it's just like, no, it's not just pay the subscription fee. It's like you. I think it's just you buy the expansion and like that's it. Like the mm-hmm. most recent expansion. And you're yeah. Good and to buy the base game. Or I, I think. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. But there's still a subscription fee. Which, if you want to, you can actually just pay for your subscription fee with gold and game. That when did they add that? Uh that's been there for years, I think. No, it was about two expansions ago, I believe. Yeah, it was like right. at the Miss of Pandaria going into Warlords, they added like a uh, an how item. Long, how many years ago was Miss of Pandaria? Uh let's see. So this panda's been running around a long time now. Yeah, a really long time. <laughs> it was like twenty twelve, I think. Twenty twelve. So it, like uh, sometime in like twenty fourteen. So it's around four or five years that you've been able to do that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I actually I have a question for Patrick. Okay. Which class do you think each of us would enjoy in WoW? Mm, Good Watts, question. you'd like Hunter because you can have a pet. You can yeah. Wait, your pet goes into combat. Not all so classes can have pets. Uh, no, every okay. There's two <laughs> tiers of pets. There's, there's combat pets, <laughs> and then there's vanity pets, which everyone can have vanity pets. I have a little fire kitty that runs around, okay. and he's adorable. Smoky. Um. Uh, oh my god! Spunky, 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 Spunky my bad name. Spunky. You can name them. You can't. No, I name all my vanity pets uh, potato. <laughs> Taters. Uh, and then there's there's combat pets, which only certain classes can have. Uh, hunters, 
have them and you can like tame animals as a hunter oh. and, and, and then they, they oh, love you forever. Cool. It's great. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, Briar, I feel like you're just going to be a warrior. You're going to, you're going to be straight up, the, just straight up the warrior guy with the, you can, so there's two, there's types of weapons that are like one hand weapons. And then there's two hand weapons, which traditionally take two hands to hold. Makes Fuck sense. that. Warriors have a spec where they can wield three handed weapons. Two, <laughs> Close enough. Yeah, they can wield two two-handed weapons at the oh, same time. Oh, that sounds fun. Fuck yeah, it's great. At least I hope that's still there because that's that was awesome. Um, what do they do? Like, what's their role in combat? Just to like walk up and start to it just everything. wail on just, shit. Just, just, <laughs> just deal damage, man. That's all you do. Uh, Tefty, you know, uh, <laughs> this, just this. Is there a gnome class? Oh, yes, there God. is actually. <laughs> that's that's for Pope. <laughs> yeah, so Pope, we're gonna actually put you on the gnome class um, <laughs> because we're all gonna be on horde, and you can be your uh, alliance gnome. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh! And then we can just you know camp here. It's great. We can go beat up horde, destroy you all. <laughs> <laughs> he would tunnel in. That? He would tunnel in. No, no. Um, no, there, there, there. There's an equivalent. There's, there's goblins. There's goblins on horde, which are what? What you know, about a just what short. about a big beard class? Is there anything like that? Dwarves, dwarves, dwarves. Dwarves, dwarves, it is. dwarves <laughs> but they're on alliance. That so works are you sure a couple you... of different levels. <laughs> <laughs> is there a bearded orc? Uh, yes. I mean, orcs have beards. Okay, how big? I, I feel like Tefty <laughs> okay. would be it. No, oh, God. Doggos. Uh, you know, I feel like Tefty would have a uh, Tefty. You'd be like a shaman. Oh, you know? I'd be a shaman, definitely. I'd be down with that. You're, you're pretty chill, yeah. but you have you have like totems that you can put down that give buffs. Oh hell yeah! And you're very into the elements and whatnot, and you can heal or you can do like uh, elemental and damage. I'm, a, I'm an essay gnome. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Gnomes are like engineers, do. dude. Gnomes can be like Engineer. gnomes are known for their craftiness and ingenuity. That's probably and I enjoy being a titan and walking in and bashing shit in the face with like my fist. You can be a you can be a gnome warrior. Like there's like no Bri- such thing as a gnome warrior. Yeah, there is. There <laughs> there were two there were two brothers on on my old server, and they were two gnome warriors called Frick and Frack. And and they were tanks. And they're, they're and these gnomes? tiny little, you know, two foot, two foot gnomes that would, you know, you know, tank raid bosses. It's great. Pope would definitely be a tank. Yeah. Pope would be a tank. Yeah. That seems like Pope. All right. Well, whatever it is. Very casual tank. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I just want to go run up to the boss and go, you know, pull aggro and just beat the crap out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Patrick, you're doing a good job of selling this game to me. I'm actually kind of interested in playing it, but I did recently see the Warcraft movie and wasn't impressed. (laughs) (laughs) But didn't really look like a world I wanted to hang out with, to be honest. Yeah, um, yeah, no that that movie that movie uh, had half of a really great movie. The orc side of it, I liked it. I liked the orc side of that movie. The the human side of that movie, eh. hmm. That movie was rough. Rough. Well, what what else is going on in the world of uh, gaming right now? Uh, Summer, man, it's summertime. It's we're waiting Not for the thing. big fall releases. You know, it's like the waiting for when it gets cold storm. and people stay yeah. inside and don't want to leave their house. You know, I've, I've, I've been right. I've been planning a Red Dead Redemption playthrough on Xbox One X. Mm, that's and a good I, idea. I'm, I'm gonna do this. I really hope I'm gonna do this before <laughs> Forsaken drops because I want to. Oh, I want to yeah. play through Red Dead before Red Dead Two hits because I am extremely excited about Red Dead Redemption Two. Have you played the first Red Dead? Yes. I loved it. Oh, so you're play, replaying it's it? It's a replay. Yeah. Absolutely. I was thinking of doing the same thing because mm-hmm. it's been a long time since yeah. the first one. Like, what year did that come time. out? 2000, like 2010, 11, something like that? 10? It's been a really long time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but if it, you got to do it before Forsaken. I feel like it, it's going to destroy our lives. Yeah. It looks great on the Xbox One X, too. It runs at 4K 60, doesn't it? I don't think it goes 60. No, it's 4K 30. I think yeah. I think they did an upscale. Okay. I could be wrong. I need to boot it up. But but yeah, like I, that game was fantastic when it came out. I freaking loved it, and I'm looking forward to Red yeah. Dead Two coming out. And I know that once Forsaken hits, there is no way 
in in September. <laughs> no. I'm gonna have any time to play it, and possibly October as or well. October. Yeah. Yeah. When does Red Dead come out? November. End of October, I think. End of October, and that's that, coming out console wish. only, right? No PC version. They haven't talked about a PC, yeah. but I I bought an Xbox One X specifically to possibly have the best graphical view of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's going to be an online. I wonder if there'll be like a special edition Xbox One X for that game. Maybe there. I wouldn't be. Well, no, they have a deal with Sony, so probably not. Oh, it's a Sony. Okay. Oh, yeah, they. Yeah. You know, Sony's scooping up exclusives and trying to prevent people from playing with each other that are friends. Yeah. Right. It's about right. right. Fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sony. Yeah. Well, they were one of a Sony sponsor. Like the Bean Girls at high school. <laughs> Basically, they like, you hang out with them. You can't come in here. <laughs> <laughs> they got all the access, and now they're just like, "Sorry, guys." Yeah. With the Red Dead ballers. Redemption. What I liked about Red Dead Redemption is the size of the the map, the playable map, like that you could run around and yeah. play on. Like it was I just a huge. Poker all day, yeah. I'll be honest. <laughs> I logged into the game. I was like, "Gonna go play some poker." Okay, I'm good. Gonna go to bed. <laughs> Did you guys? I tried the multiplayer out uh-huh. for a little bit, and I found it was a little. <laughs> Maybe it was early on, but it, I, I didn't really enjoy it. I heard they did a bunch of changes to it. Did you guys play it later on? Uh, later on? I th- I all I remember is it felt very early concept, open world multiplayer. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. It felt like the early stuff of what GTA Online was going to eventually become. Yeah, like That type of thing. But yeah, I, I played Red Dead definitely for the experience of being a cowboy in the Southwest. Which Right, not the multiplayer? Not really. I mean... Yeah. Because, yeah. But I'm looking forward to the multiplayer for Red Dead 2 because GTA Online has been very successful. And mm-hmm. if they yeah. do anything like that in the cowboy world, like I'm definitely down. GTA just brought out another expansion, didn't they? Yeah. Like, pretty recently. Wow. I'm just like, I, I see it and I'm like. How old is that know, game? Right? Wow. Like came out on the 360 and PS3 originally. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's, it's I think so it came insane. out in like 2012. Cause I remember like I, my, I, I was playing WoW and like I told my friend, hey. Dude, Mr. Pantera is really good. You should come play. He's like, ah, oh, dude, but GTA. So yeah, GTA. There's that. There's that story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good story. That's, that's a great it's story. Still man. Going. It's going yeah. very strong. I remember I was at a um, I was at Bungie um, when uh, I was a visiting friend there, and there were, we were at a party with a bunch of the Bungie developers, and we were sitting in a room when. Um, GTA 5 had just recently come out and we were playing it on a big screen and so there's a big you know one of those big couches that seats like maybe 12 people and um, I just remember sitting there and one person was playing it and we're sitting there you know having having some drinks and the the bungee guys were just like like these are developers, right? And they're sitting there looking at me going, man, this game is so amazing. How do they do this? <laughs> oh, man, it was great. It was fun watching, hearing their comments about like how, because GTA, GTA had just come out and it, it was really cool. I yeah. mean, to go around the city and it's it's a game that you can sit there and watch somebody play and be entertained. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. absolutely. People still I mean, stream it, Multiplayer, right? yeah. the multiplayer yeah. that is... Still extremely popular, and the yeah. heists are still really popular. I mean, that's why they keep. I mean, doing expansions. They keep doing been, expansions. Yeah. yeah, it's been giving Funhouse content for like what six years now. So, I think uh, chat says it came out in 2013, so five years. Jeez, that, that's, no, that they're game doing have been really dead good by now, right? By you know, video game standards, they keep supporting it. I you mean, talk about a game as a service. Rockstar's well, making exactly. it happen. They are making it happen. You can just you can make your character, you can make them whatever you want. You can go and like rob stores. In the most recent expansion, I think it's one where you can make your own club. So you can create your own club and be a club owner. That's it's cool. they're just they're making you th- it really easy to live this fantasy of like a second life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Same way that Sims allows you to do that. It's like the violent uh stripper prostitute version of the Sims. There you go. <laughs> That's what makes That's me excited about Red Dead 2. Not the violent stripper, stripper thing. But like, the violent stripper <laughs> prostitutes? The, uh... the prostitutes. I get to go play nice, poker tefty. and with my winnings. I get, get to go, go skin a bear, a nice go to the, uh, the lady house. You if know? you like violent the stripper lady prostitutes, house. you got to check out Westworld. <laughs> the lady house. True, 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 true. <laughs> yeah, the, the other Red Dead. Uh, yeah, like if they do something really interesting with the online portion, like I'm not expecting them to just do exactly what GTA Online is. Because 
typically they innovate. So I'm excited to see what they're actually going to do with an online version of GT of uh, Red Dead, Red Dead Two. Yeah. DLC horses. Ooh. Maybe I could ride like a Ooh, can I get sea horse cucumber. Armor? A Ferrari Probably. horse. <laughs> <laughs> like a uh, aircraft carrier. Yeah, horse. All the horses roach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's exciting, honestly. I'm definitely going to be playing that for sure. Oh, yes. That's why I want to do a playthrough of Red Dead first this August. This yeah, August. That's a good idea. Yeah, they, that update on the Xbox One X, too, apparently is very good. I watched a Digital Foundry video about it, but I don't remember the details, but it, they they seemed to really impress by Man, it. Man, if it is 60 FPS, oh, God. That would be crazy. That would be incredible. Love it. Yeah. Hey, speaking of stuff coming out real soon also, uh, Monster Hunter World PC comes out yeah. in like mm. a week and a half or so. It's Is it a week really and a half? Soon. Nice. Yeah, I think so. It's That's really on Steam soon. too, right? Like I don't have to like get some Capcom. It's going to be on Steam. <laughs> I got access to a early copy to, to check out how it plays on PC. And I was surprised. Yeah. It actually plays really good on PC. Now you have a 7700K mm. processor and a 1080 Ti. Yeah, I've got a I've good... Heard that- he has trouble running 60 frames per second. How did, what was your experience? At 1080p, I was averaging 100 frames per second. 100 frames per second at 1080p. And that's not right. with new drivers that are technically optimized for the game. Right. And I played, okay. I think, about three hours so far. Yeah. Uh, the, the interesting thing, though, is that the mouse and keyboard support is pretty good. You wouldn't think yeah. that you want to use okay. mouse and keyboard on Monster Hunter. Like you want to use a controller. But it actually, I was using Greatsword, using mouse and keyboard, and the only thing that was weird, and I don't know, I have no idea why they did this, is to access the quick wheel, you hold Q, and then use WASD. Q means quick. Q what? means quick. Yeah, yeah, no, that that makes sense. That's fine, Pat. I'm, I'm completely done with that. Q. But you hold Q, and then you use WASD. <laughs> oh, not, not your mouse? <laughs> no. Your mouse. Oh. That's weird. Can you remap yeah, that? that? No, not yet. <laughs> no? I have no, no idea weird. why they didn't make it hold Q than that's your mouse, because that would like that would be perfect. That would be so much faster. Oh, it would be perfect. Like I mean, yeah, be exactly what I want, because <laughs> then you can map that to your mouse. And use your mouse to like do, do a quick one. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah. if you wanna if you wanna access a um, northeast item, you have to hold Q and then press W and D at the same time. You have to <laughs> hold Q and <laughs> what the Yeah. <laughs> That's a little weird. Yeah. What if you wanna go northwest? You gotta hold Good Q, luck. W and A. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing that I found was absolutely crazy. Everything else worked great. I mean, it felt really natural. I'm going to die being like. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> have like a hand, hand off the mouse into that thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the middle of fighting the Anjanoth. Yeah. But yeah. Well, guys, we gotta, we're got we running up on an hour. We wanted yep. to make sure that we kept these podcasts on the side Short quest. and sweet. Short and sweet. Um, I'm hungry. What are you guys looking forward to playing next week? Solstice of Heroes. Solstice, Solstice of Heroes. Of Heroes. Yeah. That's right. Not, non Destiny. What are you looking forward to? More Beat Saber. Hitman. Man. I've been enjoying the hell out of Hitman lately. Doki Doki. People have been really pushing me to hit, play Hitman. That's that's World World Warcraft. Of Warcraft. Oh, World of Warcraft. Warcraft. Right? World of Warcraft, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, that movie did not sell me on that game. <laughs> <laughs> Hard pass. <laughs> Well, um, thanks very much. We enjoyed having Mr. Holtzman back right. on the show. The, he's your Hi. new Yay. side quest podcast producer. Yeah. So speaking of being a producer, what do I have to do now? You have to <laughs> like edit the video, right? Okay. And the audio and upload All right. it. All right. Right. And then um and then do the prepare things. for Hit next the button. Week. Yeah, do the Rip things. your Saturday night. Yeah. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> Yeah, you just got to do all the things that get the thing up there. Do the things. We're going stuff. out to Japanese barbecue. I'm going. Uh, I'm going to be it's preoccupied awesome. with. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday, Watts! By the way, did oh, we say that on air? That's right. We did. Happy birthday, we Watts! Did. We did. Know. Thank you. This well, is my f- my final birthday in my twenties. Ooh. Oh, <gasps> oh, wow! That was about to get dark for a second. Ooh. It doesn't have to be like that, Watts. You can make it's deals. I'll I'll talk to you after the podcast. I think honestly, honestly, I think your thirties will be better. If I had I had a great twenties, but I think my thirties are better. 
So uh, I'll, I'll be I'll be turn I'll be turned thirty here in about a month. So I'll I'll, I'll let you know how that is, Watts. <laughs> how old are you, Briar? I'm not telling you that. <laughs> He's nineteen years old, old obviously. <laughs> he can't I've been twenty nine for a while now, and I'm. <laughs> God, I mean, I'm I'm gonna be in my forties now. I'm forty. I'll be forty one. Oh man. Woo. The big yeah. four zero. God damn. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Uh, we don't do sign offs. No. I just made that as an executive producer the decision. We, we actually we decided that last week. So that's oh, we already sweet. decided, <laughs> already decided <laughs> yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I watched the show. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.